Psalm of David for the memorial offering. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me, Lord, in your rage. Your arrows have sunk deep in me. Your hand has come down upon me. Through your anger, all my body is sick. Through my sin, there is no health in my limbs. My guilt towers higher than my head. It is a weight too heavy to bear. My wounds are foul and festering, the result of my own folly. I am bowed and brought to my knees. I go mourning all the day long. All my frame burns with fever. All my body is sick. Spent and utterly crushed, I cry aloud in anguish of heart. O Lord, you know all my longing. My groans are not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength is spent. The very light has gone from my eyes. My friends avoid me like a leper. Those closest to me stand afar off. Those who plot against my life lay snares. Those who seek my ruin speak of harm, planning treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who cannot hear, like the dumb unable to speak. I am like a man who hears nothing, in whose mouth is no defence. I count on you, O Lord. It is you, Lord God, who will answer. I pray, do not let them mock me, those who triumph if my foot should slip. For I am on the point of falling, and my pain is always before me. I confess that I am guilty, and my sin fills me with dismay. My wanton enemies are numberless, and my lying foes are many. They repay me evil for good, to attack me for seeking what is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. My God, do not stay afar off. Make haste and come to my help. O Lord, my God, my Saviour. This is the third of the seven penitential psalms. The recognition of sinfulness is never a proud moment for any of us. But this psalm goes further. With great authenticity and truth, it takes us directly into the experience of the utter shame that sin can cause us. Deep shame and misery. The light of God's truth, shining on the situation of sin, fills the sinner with sorrow down to his very core, experienced even as a bodily torment. We can probably all testify to experiences like this, where sin, which seems so justified, so pleasurable in the moment, now shows its true colours. The fruit it is born for us is guilt, crippling guilt that we cannot throw off, no matter how hard we try. We cannot escape from the fact that we have hurt people and offended God. Our disappointment in ourselves seems likely to crush us, and our self-esteem crumbles into nothing. My guilt towers higher than my head. It is a weight too heavy to bear. My wounds are foul and festering, the result of my own folly. But no matter how painful this truth, that very pain it causes contains its own remedy, a glimmer of hope for the psalmist. He says that he does not speak, that in his mouth is no defence. And so from the wreckage of guilt we see grow forbearance. Like growth returning after the shock of fire and drought, a kind of patience emerges, teaching him to bear with himself, to enable him not to dwell on the sins of the past, but to let them be healed by looking forward to reconciliation with God, who is the future. It is you, Lord God, who will answer. Our own internal monologue, our own answers will never acquit us or let us be free. And that is why they have to cease at some point. 
That is why they have to cease so that God's judgment may be heard. And he is merciful. Jesus, who never sinned, stood before Herod silent. As Isaiah prophesied, a lamb led to the slaughter, never opening his mouth. He would let his answer be to allow God's love to envelop even the greatest sinners, those who sought to kill the Lord of glory. Forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. At first the psalmist cries, My wounds are foul and festering. Wounds fester because they are left untended. But the doctor, who has come to seek out the sick, to pour oil and wine on their wounds and bandage them like the good Samaritan did, has not left them untended. Our wounds are the object of the most wonderful care by Jesus, the doctor, who comes to infuse his grace upon us. O Lord, let me be patient with myself. Take my wounds and make me whole, for by your wounds... We are healed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Ransom, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us.